Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace website designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are going to be going over a whole bunch of different options you have for delivering a freebie in exchange for people's emails. So you've probably seen in lots of different articles and from different gurus and marketing people um, that you need to be building an email list. And this is because the conversion rates for an email list tend to be higher than social media. If somebody is agreeing to be on your email list, they're most likely a little bit more serious about being a potential customer and will convert into being a customer than somebody who is following you on Instagram um, or TikTok or other, other social media. So generally people suggest building an email list to create an audience of people who love your stuff um, so that you can then convert them into customers later on. The most popular way to do that is by offering them some sort of freebie or free download, some sort of free content in exchange for the email address because not many people are just going to sign up to be on your email list um, just because. <laughs> um, so generally we offer some sort of free content to them in exchange for their email address. A lot of people will do this in the footer of their website. So if we go down to the footer here, you'll see maybe it's a free ebook or PDF guide or something like that. Um, and they're asking for your name and email address to download now. People do this in the footer because by putting it in the footer, it will automatically show up on all of the pages of your website. So I do suggest having it somewhere in your footer or somewhere that people are going to see it regardless of which page they come into your website on. So for example, let's say you have a free ebook or PDF guide. So it's some sort of PDF that you are going to send them in exchange for their email address. The best way to do this is in your footer, provide some sort of image. I like to do mock-ups of these, even if it's a digital book, um, I still do some sort of mock-up of the book to show them what they're getting. You're gonna have some sort of title to let them know, some sort of tagline to get them invested, um, and then a sign up form. Now, if you are using Squarespace campaigns, then you can use a newsletter block. So you're going to click to add a newsletter block. It looks like this. Inside, you can have a form name. I suggest naming it something to do with your product so that you know what this is about. If you like, you can enter a title in there, some sort of description, that's what pops up here. You can have a disclaimer if you like letting them know that they're signing up for an email list. Some people like to say in here something about privacy, um, you know, that you're only going to be sending them so many emails, things like that. You can put the text that you want in the button. I usually require a name field. That's just because in my emails, I want to say hello and then their name. <laughs> and then you can have some sort of post submit message to say, you know, thank you. I've received your um, submission. Check your inbox for your free ebook. Um, I usually give them a little bit of a message here in terms of to expect it in their email and maybe a reminder to check their spam or junk just in case it goes in there, especially if you haven't really warmed up your email address. You don't have a lot of emails. Sometimes it can end up in spam or junk until you've developed some trust with um, mailing engines. Under design, you can say whether you want them to stack on top or kind of float around and their alignment. And then inside of storage, you can select Squarespace email campaigns. So you're gonna select the email campaign. You can choose a mailing list. If you only have one, you can leave it as a default or you can create a new list for this specific group. So you might want to um, if you're going to have different freebies, you're going to want to create a mailing list that is particular to this freebie. If you're not using Squarespace email campaigns, then you can also connect MailChimp or you can use Zapier to connect to a different email system. Or if you're using something like ActiveCampaign um, or Kartra um, or ConvertKit, 
you can create a form inside of that platform and then add it into your Squarespace site using the code block. So you're going to add a code block um, or the embed block and you're going to embed that code from your email system into here. Okay. Now that we have the sign up portion done, we need to actually send them your freebie. So if you are using some other email system other than Squarespace campaigns, then you're going to want to set up an automation in that email system in order to send them an email once they've signed up with a link to your product, your PDF. Some of those systems will be will allow you to link the file right inside of the system. Otherwise, if you cannot find a way inside of your system to upload a file, a link to the file, you can do that inside of Squarespace. And this is what you would do for Squarespace campaigns as well. So if you're using Squarespace campaigns or the email system you're using does not allow you to upload a file, then what you're going to do is go to the not linked section and you're going to create a blank page, name it your freebie, I suggest making the link something unique, not just slash free ebook because you want it to be hard to find. You only want people to find it if they've signed up. Okay, so you can make the URL something unique and then you're gonna turn SEO off because again, you don't want this coming up in search engines. You only want them to get to this page if they found a link. Now, obviously this doing it this way, it's not 100% secure if somebody sends this link out um, to a friend per se, then they'll be able to get to it without signing up. Um, but I haven't experienced a problem with people doing that. Most of them are happy to just um, sign up for the email list. Okay, so just make the URL something unique and turn SEO off and that should be all the security you really need. If you want it more secure than that, then you'll have to put it behind some sort of password, um, you know, membership uh, area or something like that but that for the most part should be secure enough. And then inside of this page, you can add a blank section and say, you know, thank you for your sign up. Here is your free ebook. And then you can add a button. In the link, you're going to click the gear icon, select a file and upload your file in there. You may want to open it in a new window. That's up to you. And then you're going to click and make sure that it's applied here. So then when they click on the button, it will download that file. You can also add pictures. You may also want to link them out to your social media, say follow more here or send them to other areas of their site. But it's just a fairly basic page saying, you know, thank you for signing up. Here's your free ebook and providing a link for them to download it. So then if you're not using Squarespace email campaigns, you can provide a link to this page in the email automation that you've set up. If you're using Squarespace campaigns, then you're going to go to marketing, email campaigns, Go to automations and you're going to add an automation. I suggest the reward your subscribers button. You can pick a template. It doesn't matter which template you pick. In here, you're just going to design your email and again, provide a link to that page. You can put it behind a button that says download now, and you're going to link to that page that you created in your not linked section. And then under email, you're going to choose the automation. So you're going to choose that it's after a person subscribes. You can choose the mailing list if you created a spe specific one or just select default. 
and then you want to send it to them immediately after signing up. You're going to want to add a subject line in here. You can add some preview text if you like. You can then add in your sender details. So that's the from line and your address. Um, that is helpful for GDPR and making sure that this is all nice and legal. Okay. Once you have it all done, you can send a test to yourself to make sure that your links all work and that's all good. And then you can select to activate your automation. Right, and that is it. So basically you're going to add a section on your website. A lot of people like to do this in the footer, but you can do it wherever you like. Um, you're going to add a newsletter block in or a code block from your email system. Tell them what they're signing up for. Let them know that it's a mailing list. And then you're going to set up the page that is housing your product or in your email system. If you can just send it directly into their email, you can do that as well. And then if you're using Squarespace campaigns, you're going to come in here and set up your email um, automation. If you are not doing something that's as easy as a free ebook, so not a PDF, let's say it's a series of videos or audio files, then you can set it up very similarly, but I would make sure, um, but you're most likely going to have to have this not linked page in there that houses all of your videos or audio files for them. Um, you also have the option in the newsletter block under content at the bottom, instead of giving them a thank you message, you can redirect them automatically to that page. So once they sign up and click download now or watch videos or whatever you want it to say, you can have it automatically redirect them to that other page. I do suggest still having some sort of email system set up, automation set up, so that if they misplace that link um, or it doesn't redirect them for whatever reason or they've X'd out of the page too quickly, that they're still going to have that link sent to them via email. And finally, the last option that I want to give you um, is if you are going to be uh, marketing this freebie all over the place, um, then I suggest you set it up a little bit differently. So it has the same basic steps, but I suggest a little variation. So on my site, um, maybe I want to have a pop-up, I have an announcement bar, um, I'm going to have it in my footer and maybe I'm going to have some Facebook ads running and so on. In order to make sure they're all kind of getting sent to the same place and I'm not having these sign up forms all over, I prefer to link them all to a download page. So rather than having the sign up in the footer, I promote it in the footer, but I have a button to a page in my not linked section that houses my opt-in page. This also provides me the opportunity to give a little bit more information about the freebie. So I have a title about it, a little tagline, and sort of three benefits to signing up and getting this freebie. And then I have my sign up form below. I'm using Kartra, so this is a um, code block that has my Kartra information in it. And you'll notice on this page, I've hidden the header and the footer so that it's just an opt-in page. And I've got a blog post um, on how to do that. I can link that below as well on how to hide that header and the rest of my footer so that um, it's, you know, it's just showing the opt-in. So my announcement bar, my pop-up, um, any ads or if I'm sending this out in social media, um, my footer, it all points to this page, but the rest of it is the same. I have my newsletter sign up. When they sign up, then it will um, send them an email automation from Kartra that links them the PDF. Or again, you can use Squarespace campaigns to send that out and link them to another not linked page that has um, the file on that. So there's lots of different options and varieties um, for how to set up a freebie depending on 
um, how you want it to run and what your freebie is. But the basis is a newsletter block to get their email address and then an email um, automation that then sends them an email welcoming them to your newsletter and providing the freebie to them. So if you like this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for the freebie in my footer or below this blog so that you can be notified when another tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you set up your Squarespace website to accept email addresses and send along a freebie.